quick review for you on the lower Zephyr um, GTX, that's the Gore-Tex model um, of the mid uh, boot. Mid basically means it's only six inches instead of uh, eight inches or more tall. Uh, and these are in the desert color. Uh, and I really wanted the desert color. You get, of course, a, a leaflet uh, and the boots. Here we go. I wanted the desert color um, just because I like the, the lighter brown. I think that's a fairly true reflection of the color. Um, I liked the lighter brown to go with khaki shorts, etc., etc., uh, and an excellent walking boot. Um, very, very light, very light and airy. And you can see the construction here is uh, there's kind of a, a, a rubbery, plasticky, but it feels more rubbery than plastic type mold, uh, suede and canvas construction, um, which keeps keeps it very, very light. Uh, it's It's not floppy in any way but it has the kind of give that uh, that you'll need. Uh, it of course has a Gore-Tex lining uh, as well as coming in different colours. These do come in Gore-Tex uh, or non-Gore-Tex. The difference in price isn't actually that much and that's because opinions uh, vary around Gore-Tex. Um, some of the military, military guys will tell you for example, one I know very well who does not like Gore-Tex because he says if water gets in your boot you can't get it out again. Well, without taking your boot off and tipping it out, it won't just evaporate out. I don't know. I mean, the whole point of Gore-Tex for me is that actually it does evaporate out from sweat, etc. Uh, I swear by Gore-Tex and always get it if I can. And these will be a wonderful, wonderful um, three, if not four season walking boot. They're labeled as three season, uh, but I will wear these in the winter. Of course, it'll get them messy, but um, that's what they're intended for too. Uh, they are, I've got quite a wide foot, uh, a, you know, very wide foot. In fact, if I go into Clark's, I've got the widest fitting of all, um, yet these are fine. They fit me well. They come with um, lower insoles, which are relatively uh, spongy, depending on what you want to use them for, will depend on um, whether you, in fact you, you replace those soles with something that gives you a little bit more comfort. Uh, having tested uh, these out previously, uh, I know they're very good for walking, very good for uh, even light jogging. I think the, uh, the purpose of them from a military point of view was to allow uh, people, soldiers, servicemen, uh, to wear them in a vehicle, but then also if they need to react quickly outside of a vehicle, it's not going to stop them from doing that. And they are very light and very comfortable. Now, I actually got these uh, at a bit of a reduction because they are the desert colour, which has now been phased out. Uh, and uh, it's been replaced with a coyote, which is more of a slightly darker brown, which matches the, uh, the newer uniforms. I still love the desert colour. I'm glad I've been able to get hold of a pair. Uh, one thing I was worried about was uh, how this would look at the front, this, where the moulding kind of comes up at the front, the kick part, to, um, uh, you know, whether that would look okay. It actually, when you're wearing them, it looks fine. Uh, if you see the boots in real life, it doesn't really stand out that much at all. Uh, so I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, this is what you get from the rear. Uh, slightly lower at the back. Uh, something to help you put them on. Um, in terms of the sole, uh, it's called the lower cross sole. Well, you know, I think that's just the shape. It's got a very, very, very... Um, looks like a very robust sole, those are going to wear down very quickly. Um, there is give where you need it there uh, and it does look like it's going to give you a lot of traction and very, be a very comfortable boot in the long term. It does say it needs a little bit of wear to wear it in, I don't know if that's going to be true or not. Uh, you see we've got this lovely gusset here which goes up very very high on the boot uh, and as they're all Gore-Tex lined uh, and if you read online, some of the only criticisms you get of the, the non-Gore-Tex version is that, of course, it's going to get your feet wet. Well, it will do if you wear them out in the rain because they're not waterproof. These are waterproof, and I would recommend going the extra, it's about 10 quid, I think, um, where well, I got them from anyway, to get the, the Gore-Tex line. Because then that basically means from there to there, you can stand in water and you're absolutely fine. <clears throat> they do do a high version of the same boot which essentially is another couple of inches up, if that's something uh, you think you need. 
But that's that really. If you've got any specific questions on these, if you want me to show you any parts in more detail or give you any more reference, then uh, please uh, just put a comment below and I'll do my best to respond. Uh, the thing that I was curious about was the foot uh, width fitting and for me, and I, I can't uh, stress again, I've got very wide feet, they're absolutely fine. The one thing I'm not entirely happy about uh, is these uh, threads up here. I prefer boots. I mean, you've actually got to put it inside there to thread it up. They're supposed to be quick lace features. Well, I don't see why that's any quicker than having one on the side. Um, <clears throat> I would have preferred if they'd been open so you can just almost like the ski hooks uh, on some of my other boots, which are much, much quicker to uh, to put on and take off then. Another big benefit, of course, is that um, you know, they don't come through to the inside at all. So it's a very, very comfortable uh, you've got a nice bit of padding here. All of this is comfortable. Uh, if ever, you know, boots irritate your, if you've got bony ankles, well, you're going to be absolutely fine because there's an awful lot of padding, an awful lot of comfort there. Uh, support for your ankle to stop you twisting. Uh, I very much look forward to wearing these on some long hikes in the very near future. That's the uh, lower Zephyr uh, Gore-Tex GTX uh, mid boot. And this is in a desert. Uh, color. If you can get hold of these, I thoroughly recommend before they all go, get yourself a set.